Oh, I was probably going to get committed. I broke down in there. Because she was worse than she was two weeks ago. And I just talked to her on the phone four days ago. Three and a half days ago. It was either, I think it was Tuesday night, when she thought that there was going to be a meeting um, with you know, the woman I've been talking with, the one that, that, that's been my advocate, and my mom's social worker. And it turned out it wasn't, and apparently it went really bad in, in that meeting that she had with her psychiatrist and social worker in the hospital. And that was on Thursday, and says that she was all disappointed about that. I brought songs for us to sing. She told me that when she hung up with me, I was crying, you know, I... Marion called her and, and it was verbally abusive to her. Calls her up in the mental hospital just to bed with me, just to yell at her. It's so mean. I told staff, this one woman who I talked to last time, and of course she has to say to me, you know, everything will be okay, maybe it'll work out. And I said, it's not. Everything will not be okay. I told you last time to deal with the power of attorney and whatnot. Now I don't even, my mom's lost her mind and I don't even have a friggin' release sign. You understand? If she gets committed and they transfer her somewhere else, I told this woman, I'm like, no, every, it's, this is my reality. This is not everything's going to be okay. Because of the HIPAA law, if my mom gets transferred somewhere, and she was verbally abusive to the people in there. She didn't do that two weeks ago. She, she thinks that they're, she's telling them, you're going to die and all that. They can, they'll, they can put her somewhere else. She, 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 I, did, I didn't say anything to her. I wanted to sing. I brought Delta Dawn and I brought, I brought all these songs. We sang a couple songs. There's a guy in there who apparently won't leave her alone. So, she thinks, no, that's schizophrenia. Everything's out, everyone's out to get her. He, he wouldn't leave her alone. I believe that he did say to her, you know, you look older than me. When I, people, she's in a mental hospital. What do you want? People aren't going to be all that nice. People weren't all that nice in the freaking shelter I was in, okay? And people have a lot of mental problems who are in homeless shelters. Me included, okay? Um, but, you, you know, but now she just, she wants us to have privacy, and, and you can't, you know? People have to come in sometimes at the hospital. What do you want? You can't have total privacy. I can't go to her room with her. You know, so I'm not doing very good. I want booze. I want sex. I need something normal. I, she wouldn't even sing with me. All I wanted to do was sing. I tried to sing. She got upset. The minute that guy came in to her, it was a conspiracy. See, Laura? And she wanted me to yell at see you. Oh, about what Marion? It was a goddess, whatever, goddess, we'll just call her, what do we call her, uh, Masula Bula, okay? Goddess Masula Bula is who had Marion do that. Mama kept saying, you know, it wasn't Marion, Laura, it was Masula Bula. All right, whatever, Masula Bula had Marion, Marion do that sick thing and call you up and abuse your mom and smear my name and lie and throw their teeth about me. again, because I, like I told her, you know, if my mom gets committed, I don't think she'll be committed. She could be committed somewhere else, you know? If she's even moved somewhere else because of the HIPAA law, they won't tell me. You understand? Just like my mom's stupid fucking doctor. If you want to know where your mother is and you have to call your aunt, your aunt is her emergency contact. Fuck you. What if my aunt is my fucking enemy? Then what? No, you're out of luck. I told this woman, this staff woman, she's young. I told her, I'm like, you're, I'm shit in the eyes of the law. She's lost her mind. So she's probably going to be committed. <laughs> Just like Miriam always wanted. Because does Miriam really love her? Can you really say Miriam loves her if she's going to call her up in the mental hospital to, to badmouth me? Not to say I love you. Not to say I hope you get out. So my mom feels lost. She knows she's screwed. She knows I can't help her. She asked me to help her. you got to help me, Ma Laura. I can't help you. I can't do shit but visit you and show you love. I brought her pictures. 
brought her pictures. I brought songs for us to sing. Even when I started, she's babbling about how people are going to die and the gods and this and that or whatever. And she was way worse today because she was she got a little violent with with people just verbally. But still, she didn't do that two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, she was calmer. I know she she fears she's going to get committed. And if she asked about her dog, dog woman was like, well, don't tell her. I'm sure she's, she has other things on her mind. She won't ask. No, she asked me. And I'm not going to fucking lie to her, okay? I told her that Angel's fine. She's in a foster home.